good day. And thank you for taking your time to learn about this Goldenrod Road, also known as State Road 551 Traffic Operations and Safety Improvements Project. A transcript is being made of all oral proceedings and will be part of the public record for this project. This public hearing is being held in accordance with Section 339.155 Florida Statutes, Section 339.199 Florida Statutes, Section 120.525 Florida Statutes, and Section 286.01 Florida Statutes. This public hearing was advertised consistent with federal and state requirements and is being conducted consistent with the Americans with Disabilities Act of 1990. This hearing is being conducted without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns relative to FDOT compliance with Title VI may do so by contacting Jennifer Smith, FDOT District 5 Coordinator, at jennifer.smith2 at dot.state.fl.us. The purpose of this public hearing is to share information about the State Road 551 Traffic Operations and Safety Improvements Project. This public hearing also serves as an official forum to give you the opportunity to express your opinions and concerns about this project. At the conclusion of this presentation, attendees who completed a speaker's card upon registering at the door will be given an opportunity to speak into a microphone. Project staff will also distribute speaker's cards to additional attendees who wish to make a verbal statement. An official transcript is being made of all oral proceedings and will be part of the public record for this project. This State Road 551 project begins at State Road 408 westbound ramps and continues 1.856 miles north to State Road 50 in unincorporated Orange County, Florida. The roadway is classified as an urban arterial with a posted speed of 45 miles per hour. This segment was last improved during a 1992 reconstruction project. The purpose of this project is to improve safety along State Road 551 by constructing a raised median with directional turn lanes and bike lanes throughout the project limits. These project improvements and access management changes will reduce the number of vehicle conflict points and the potential for vehicle and pedestrian crashes. Over the five-year period, there were a total of 269 crashes that occurred between State Road 408 and State Road 50. Constructing a raised median helps to reduce the number of conflict points, which reduces the likeliness of crashes. What are conflict points? Conflict points are locations along a roadway where two vehicles' paths can legally cross. At a four-way intersection, there are as many as 36 conflict points. Each conflict point is a location where a crash can occur. A basic principle of access management is to limit the number of conflict points along a roadway by minimizing the number of driveways and median openings and restricting certain movements at some median openings. Reducing conflict points helps decrease crashes, thus increasing safety for motorists. Medians make the road safer by minimizing the number of potential conflict points the corridor user must monitor at a single time. In the terminology of human factors research, driver information load is decreased by having medians. Section 335.199 Florida Statutes requires a public hearing whenever access management changes are proposed. These include the modification, addition, or closure of existing median openings, intersections, or interchanges. The proposed improvements for this project include an access management class change 
from Access Class 3 to Access Class 5. There are three proposed full openings, including two signalized and seven proposed directional openings for a total of 10 median openings within the project limits. All proposed openings meet the Access Management Rule FAC 14-97 requirements. Please take the opportunity tonight to review the new access locations shown on the roll plots and provide your comments for the public hearing record. Taking a look at the existing roadway conditions, the existing roadway typical section consists of two 12-foot inside travel lanes, two 14-foot outside travel lanes, a 14-foot bi-directional center turn lane, curb and gutter, and five-foot sidewalk separated by a three-foot utility strip on both sides of the roadway. The proposed improvements are the result of recommendations from a 2015 access management study conducted by the Florida Department of Transportation. The purpose of the study was to improve the corridor's safety and operational characteristics. The proposed typical section provides four 11-foot travel lanes divided by a 20-foot raised median. The new typical section would also include five-foot dedicated bike lanes, curb and gutter, and five-foot sidewalks separated by a three-foot utility strip on both sides of the roadway. The proposed typical section requires eight feet of widening from State Road 408 to Bryan Road. The eight-foot widening is focused along the west side of the roadway. From Yucatan Drive to Bryan Road, the proposed roadway will transition into a four-foot widening evenly on each side of the roadway to State Road 50. Other improvements will include milling and resurfacing the remaining pavement, modifying the existing drainage systems to accommodate the widening, reconstructing the signal at Valencia College Lane, lighting and minor landscaping. Taking a drive along the corridor to view the improvements proposed for this project, we start at the project's beginning, located at the intersection with State Road 408 westbound ramps. The proposed improvements include raised sodded medians. The median gives way to our first directional median opening. This type of opening is a safety enhancement that restricts traffic from the side streets to make right turns only, thus reducing the number of conflict points that could potentially cause accidents. Its secondary function is to allow drivers to safely make U-turns. The proposed improvements also show the new dedicated bike lanes. The left turn lane serving State Road 408 eastbound will be extended through the intersection to provide additional queue length. The right turn onto State Road 408 westbound will also be extended. As we continue north, so do the raised medians and dedicated bike lanes. The Yucatan Drive intersection includes new left turn lanes for both northbound and southbound traffic and lighting to promote pedestrian safety. You may have noticed there is a new signal currently under construction at this location. To avoid replacement of the new signal poles currently being installed, the widening south of this intersection will be 8 feet to the west of the existing roadway. North of Yucatan Drive, the widening transitions to 4 feet equally on each side of the existing roadway for the remainder of the project limits. Continuing north, the widening is now four feet equally on both sides of the existing roadway. The proposed improvements include raised sodded median, dedicated bike lanes, and reconstructed driveways and sidewalks. Within this segment, two directional median openings will be provided for driveway access and U-turns. The raised median dedicated bike lanes and reconstructed driveways and sidewalks continue north. 
Another directional median opening is provided for northbound traffic driveway access and U-turns. Reconstruction of the signalized intersection at Valencia College Lane will require additional widening to the west to provide room for future dual southbound left turn lanes at the signalized intersection. This improvement is compatible with Orange County's future widening plan for Valencia College Lane. Lighting will also be added to the intersection to promote pedestrian safety. Continuing north, a directional median opening will be provided for access and U-turns at the Azalea Cove Apartments. A full median opening will also be provided for full access and U-turns at the Oasis Club Apartments. This full access will remain unsignalized. Moving north toward State Road 50, two additional directional median openings will be provided for driveway access and U-turns. The project ends the raised medians and dedicated bike lanes at State Road 50. At the signalized intersection, reconstruction is included to extend queue links for the dual northbound left turn lanes and the dedicated northbound right turn lane. A printed roll plot of the proposed improvements is on display here tonight with design team staff available to answer any questions you might have. For this project, we anticipate impacting 11 parcels for a total acquisition of approximately 0.275 acres of right-of-way. There are no relocations associated with this project. All right-of-way acquisition will be conducted in accordance with the Federal Uniform Relocation Assistance and Real Property Acquisition Policies Act of 1970, commonly known as the Uniform Act. A right-of-way specialist is here tonight to answer any questions you have about the program. We know there is a lot of truck traffic along this route, and we have identified some alternative routes for truck traffic. They include using Chicksaw Trail, Lake Underhill Road, State Road 408, Valencia College Lane, and State Road 50. The design team staff are available here tonight to discuss your access concerns and potential alternate route solutions. The current schedule of this project identifies that the plans will be completed in January of 2019 and construction will begin in summer of 2021. The cost for construction is estimated at $7.8 million. This presentation and all of the materials on display here tonight will be available in electronic form on the project website at cflroads.com. This website is maintained by FDOT to keep the public informed of ongoing and future projects. You are encouraged to visit this webpage for updates regarding the status of this project. There are several ways that you can get involved and provide feedback on this project. We encourage you to engage in conversation with the design team staff here tonight to discuss and record your input using the online survey tool via tablet. You can also submit written comments using the forms available at the welcome table. You can submit those comment forms in the Dropbox here tonight by mail to FDOT Project Manager Taleb Shams at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 2 542 Deland, Florida 32720, or by email to taleb.shams at dot.state.fl.us. Written comments received or postmarked no later than June 8, 2018, will become part of the public record for this public hearing. You can also provide an oral comment at the conclusion of this presentation. Our personnel will be distributing speakers' cards to those in the audience who have not yet received one and would like to make a statement. 
A court reporter will record your statement and a verbatim transcript will be available of all oral proceedings at this hearing. If you do not wish to speak at the microphone, you may present your comments in writing or directly to the court reporter at the comment table. Each method of submitting a comment carries equal weight. For additional information, please contact Talib Shams or Mark Bertoncini at the information provided. This contact information is also provided on the public hearing handout. Thank you for attending this presentation regarding the State Road 551 Goldenrod Road Traffic Operation and Safety Project.